So to change the type of drop shadow on your text, uh, first you have your text here, and then you click on it, and you go to Object, Effects, and then Drop Shadow. And I'm doing this in InDesign, but you should have the same options in Photoshop or in Illustrator. When you apply a drop shadow, you should be able to change, um, you know, the size, spread, noise, distance, angle, and so on. So I'm just going to click on this and show preview here. Okay, to show you what that looks like. So op opacity is at 50 here. If you want it to be darker, you make it higher percentage. Okay, and that way you can change what that looks like. You can also change the distance of your drop shadow from your text. Okay. Yeah, you can change. You can change the X offset, so left or right, okay, and up and down the Y offset as well, separately. You can change the angle of it, so which way your drop shadow is going to fall, all right? And next, you can change the size of it, okay? The bigger the size, the blurrier it becomes, all right? You can change the spread of it, okay? and you can change the noise of it, all right? So you should be able to duplicate what my drop shadow looks like by changing these effects, uh, these properties on this drop shadow effect. So again, this is available to you in Illustrator and in Photoshop, so it doesn't matter what you're working in, but you should be working in uh, InDesign if you're talking about the travel and the wow drop shadows, okay?